fucks up, dickheads. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I figured out a better way to uh, have my my camera set up without using a wait is that charging my comes controller yeah um so basically what I've done is I've got a scar so I've been, I've been using a chair I've been using one of my chairs to put my camera up because I don't I didn't have my tripod so what I've done is I've put a scarf on the chair so now it's got like less movement you're less likely to fall off now I don't brush my hair. I've just washed my hair so it looks a bit in grim um <laughs> I'm really poorly hang on So I have, I've just, <laughs> I also just went to, uh, I just went to the shop because I realised I have no toilet roll because I've not been here all weekend. Uh, but as I, as I bent down, I, my hair, which I've just washed by the way, I di it dipped into like four day old green tea that I'd left here. Um, so <laughs> I've just like, I, oh my god, I hear, I hear robots. Am I good? No, I'm good. Okay, yeah, so I've just I've just dipped my hair into fucking tea by accident. But uh, I bought some tissues. Because <laughs> I'm not very well. Basically, what's happened is... <clears throat> I have air filters in my flat. And uh, the air filters are blowing really dry air into the apartment. And... Uh, <laughs> it's made my voice go like this. Um, so yeah, apologies for the sniffing and the coughing and the fact that I sound like a pug. <laughs> um, right, let's um, figure out what we're doing. <clears throat> so I can't, I can't do this tall neck. I need to move you, like, here. I can't do this tall neck. Um... So I could try and do this. <clears throat> um, there are so many things to do. Okay, what do my quests say? I could just I could start off with main quest. Um, or I could start off with a side quest. <clears throat> this one, this one, I was struggling to do. Um, so I might actually do this one off stream. Um, uh, gauntlet, yeah, well we didn't, I walked past the gauntlet, I didn't want to look at that at the moment. So uh, we could do, uh, let's do this level 15 dailies. Um, <coughs> dailies one first, because... Oh. I didn't even check that my audio was working, but I just, I just did, so. Oh, I had money go into my account? Ah, oh, nice. Ah, uh, sorry, I've been distracted. Uh, stream manager, please. Dashboard. No, that's not what I want. That's stream info. There we go. Um, and then do that. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's do this. I remember it being far away. Yeah, it's quite far away. That's fine. Um, there's also some bandit camps, so we could maybe, like, start off with this even. Um, because it's right here. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. <clears throat> Do I have the right, uh, skill equipped? Yes. I miss. That's a great start. Well done. Excellent start. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, he's stuck on a bush, Aloy. Well done.
Oh god, I didn't even clock that there was a robot right there. Oh yeah, yeah, go away. I'm not ready. Okay, well, first kill of the game. Smashing. I might move you a little bit. Like. Excuse me. That'd be better. Yeah, a bit more face on. Um, right, where am I going? Sorry, I've got that proper, like, I'm sick brain going on. Oh! Sniped it. Right, I don't, I don't want you, but I'm gonna just have you so that I can call you when I need you. Because I can't call a mount unless I have a mount over it, so... There's a person there. Shall I tag them all first? Whoa, what was that? Excuse me? Nothing. So the That's the leader, yeah. Oh! Oh, how did he not notice? He's dead. Oh my god, that vulture scared the shit out of me. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. You don't see me. Oh. No! Oh, my bad. Well, at least you can't see me now. I'm not on fire. I'm fine. Aloy, stop being on fire, please. That guy is nearly dead. Oh, well, that was too high. Anyone? 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 You're coming out the front. Oh! In the head. Come on, Mr. Man. Oh! Headshot! Oh! Fuck you. And your wife. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Please. Oh no, does he still see me? Fuck it. Go on, go up. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Hey, you move so quickly. Oh my god. Fuck you. I'm already sweating. Yeah, now you die. Is he gone? <laughs> Fuck you. You get away from my face. 
Hey, yo. Okay, run. No, I no, thank you. Oh, ouch. No thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Run! In there. How is that not a headshot? Oh. Run! Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Oh my god, I can hear someone run away. No. Got this guy, okay. Oh my god. Oh my life. Okay, his, his shield is basically impenetrable. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's dead. And run! Who is nearly dead? This guy. <laughs> I'm just running around. Oh. oh my lord. Okay, you run. And... And... Do you this? Do this? Stop being on fire. Stop being on fire. That would help. Stop being on fire. Oh! Stop being on fire. Please stop being on fire. Where's the robot? Where's the robot? The sky. Oh my god. What level is this camp place meant to be at? Okay, maybe. Oh, my wrist already. Any sign yet? Can I silent attack him? Oh my god, fucked it! No! Ah! Oh my god. He doesn't he doesn't know where I am. He doesn't know where I am. Oh god. Can I get some health? Is there any health anywhere? the high ground Anakin. Check that grass. Don't you don't see me, 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 you don't see me. You think I don't know you're there? Come here. Come here. Nowhere safe for you now. How do I how do I throw this again? No. Here. Here. And come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Fucking brutal. Amazing. Okay. Did I kill the robot? Oh my god, no, I didn't. The rebels should have been in this place. I could always deal with them now. By the way, I'm done here. I mean, not quite. 
I need to kill this bitch. Have I even scanned this? Oh, no, I hadn't. Oh my god, this is an angry bird. So on fire, please get on fire. Can you die? Oh! oh. oh. No shots left. Please die, Sia. Please die. Please don't die. Oh. Okay. <laughs> GG. Let's let's go. Good start, I guess. Can I uh, can I just get some help, please? I don't really need any more rocks, but I'll take everything you'll give me. There's loads of health in here, wasn't there? I need to dress my wounds. Be ready for the next fight. Oh. Christ, eh? I hear the green thing. Some gleam shine, whatever it's called. Okay. Over here. Nice. Okay. Sorry, bud. I need to hide me. Good, um, didn't I need a sunwing for something? What have I picked up that's different? Nothing. Why? Oh. Four striders. Fast at all. Often encountered in packs. If one was hard enough as it was. Oh my god. I hate when that happens, like when you pull that first tissue out of the box and you don't even you don't even pull out one, you pull out two and then you rip both of them. It's fucking peak. I want At least it smells nice too. Okay. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do this side quest. But I have a mount now, which is good. So I can just call him. I I can't. Is it because I'm in a camp? There is a bonfire here, right? Yeah. Can I not call my mount? That's bullshit. I literally, I literally overrided a mount. Is it because I didn't ride him? <sighs> okay. Well, fine. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, anyways. Here we are again. On the road. In the desert. I don't want to attract the thing though. Can I? Thank you.
come here. Come here, friends. You're gonna be my new best buddy. Come here. Good boy. Yes. Let's go. <clears throat> do, 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 Wait, do I need to be going up? There's a shelter here though, actually. Oh, I just kill. Oh, a prairie dog. I need, I need those. Hang on. Hang on. The terrain is quite hard to tell. Right, let's save and then slash. Thank you. Oh. Uh, yeah, that would be great, but do I want to do anything else first? No? Uh, let's do this then. Smashing. Blue hole circulator. That's fine. Um. Salmon then. Great. Okay. <coughs> You're right there, friend. You're just chilling. So, <coughs> back on the road. Oh god. Okay, let's uh Can we just avoid these? Can we just can we just go past them? They didn't notice me. Oh no, never mind, spoke too soon. They totally did. Can I go this way? Is this a far? No, it's not at all. Whee! Go on. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I killed a rabbit. Oh, there's a cauldron up here. Okay, Apex machine. <clears throat> that is a bad guy. And... Oh! He's dead. Smashed it. Thunderjaw site? Wow, shit. Okay, well, I'm not really in the mood to fight a Thunderjaw, just saying. Can you die? Okay, bye. You fight without honor. Do I know? Uh, you're on target. Uh. <laughs> uh. 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 Uh.
I'm oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to hit you. <clears throat> I am definitely not in the mood to fight a fucking thunder solo. Not after the 30 minute long fight that I had with a friend. Because that was just unnecessary. <clears throat> volatile sludge. Did they? Did these guys take it down? Is this the thunder jaw that it was talking about? Because <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> there was another, there was another cauldron down here, wasn't there? That we were looking at was. What, am I? Am I wrong in thinking that? Because I said, oh, maybe we could go and do the cauldron. I could be wrong. It could be this cauldron. Ah, uh, actually, no. It, it could very much be a different one. Was there not a cauldron down here? That we decided not to do? Mm, I mean, I can't, I, yeah, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably thinking of this one. Um, we could go and do that in a minute too, I suppose. Okay, come on then, friend. Why do you have to be so extra getting on top of the walls? Okay, so I think I'm going this way. There is something up here though. I mean, that sounds very scary. What is? Metal flower? Whoa. Far away from me now that I'm leaning back. Okay. What is this scary noise? Is that it? Is that all that was in here? I think yes. I don't think there's anything else in there. Okay, so, so. Whatever's going on around here is very scary sounding. So pretty. Sounds like metal. And it stops like such a weird. Oh, hello. So pretty. <clears throat> so pretty. I can't fucking talk. This must be the pretty. Noah Silka was talking about. <laughs> Looks like the whole place flooded. <laughs> Maybe from a recent storm. 
wonder if anyone made it out. Let's check around the shore. Machines. Must have moved in after the flood. Oh, where? Where are you? Are they there? Is that them there? I mean, I'm in an excellent position to, like, long shot them. Donk? Are you too far away? Donk? Ah! Yeah, fuck you. Whoa! Do you want to glitch any further? Whoa! You see this guy? He's the speediest thing I've seen. Yeet. Whoa. I can't see you, but I'm sure I can hit you. This guy. One down. These are okay, but they're very slow to draw and um They're not all that powerful. Okay, well, let's stay on the high ground. Okay, let's fuck these guys. I want, I want tear arrows again. They were dope. <clears throat> okay, where's this bitch? Oh, those boulders. Break the support beam, crush the machines. Why not? Where is he gone? Where is he gone? What's his route? Yeah, but he stays in the water. So, does it matter? Come here, dickhead. Oh my god. Can you? Can you talk? Ooh, ah. Oh my god, Aloy. 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 Please. Can you stop? Oh, I'm not in the best position here. Ow. Ah, you kind of suck. Hey, Lauren, please, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Whoop. 
back here, you pussy. Alright, fine, I'll come to you. Oh, oh, oh my god. I did not expect him to stop oh. running himself at me. Ah, oh. eh, get out of the water, Ah, oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Guess this the water shot is Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. Oh, god, yeah. No, no. There. Should be safe at the knock now. Yes, get the shit out of me. Scared the absolute bejesus. Okay. Is anything worth getting over here? No, it's all that noise. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. I need to get some berries because I don't know what's going to happen next. I'll keep some extra on hand. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Let me just stock up, because I'm kind of running low. There we go. I'm good. Hello. How can I help you? Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moths prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Oh, I forgot I have Facebook. We'll head for the shore on the other side to regroup. Thanks again. Okay, so. Uh, talk to survivors. Um, and search the ruins. For survivors. So, we'll go to one first. I like to do things in order. No more survivors. Can anyone over. hear us? Must be one of Tika's. Where are you? Okay, you're up there. Is there anything worth worrying about over here? <clears throat> Hello. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. <sighs> there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's Apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge. That brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. I hear we have you to thank for getting these soldiers to safety. But there are others still missing. And I need to keep watch here. Then I'll take another look around. If I find anyone else, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. Okay. If you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, 
Tell him. Tell him I'm here. Okay. Uh, we just go back the other side, I guess. Can we just go around? Figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane can help. If I can get it into the right position, I must be stuck on something else. Underwater, maybe. The focus can help me search. Rain. Not my first choice. Okay, well, there's a metal lamp there. Um, does she really want me to get in the water? Can I even see under her? Oh my god, Aloy. Oh my god. Aloy. Aloy, are you stuck? Aloy, you're in the ground. <laughs> what are you holding on to? Excuse me. Aloy. <laughs> um, you're going to die. You're going to die. Please. <laughs> Get out of the water. <laughs> I mean, I'm pressing X and she's gonna she's not going up, so. I, like, I'm literally not pressing any analog stick. If I press X, this is what happens. She's gonna drown. <laughs> Aloy, I'm sorry. You, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Bye. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I don't know what you're holding on to. <laughs> it's not look, it's not wash. <laughs> Why is she oh, going? <laughs> okay, just yeah. It, did it move? Is it done? Did I do it? Is it yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what happened there. Can you get back on that thing please? Oh my god, Aloy. I have to go up here. Take a look. Okay, where can I can I climb on that? No, there's a ladder there. <gasps> hey, Lloyd, Jesus. <clears throat> if I detach those cables. The arm should drop the rest of the way. These cutscenes are really weird. Blood of the ten. How'd you manage to do that? These cutscenes are really odd. I'm just saying. Can I take this box first? Thanks. Hi. I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. 
How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. Thank you. Uh, you know he's... I'm guessing she means these towers. Yep. Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. No. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next to it. I mean, which tower are they in? Are they in the one that I'm circling now? Because they're both kind of broken. <clears throat> hmm, okay, well, let's jump on here. They are... They're, they're, where are they? Oh, they're in here. Okay, so they're in that one. I'm too far away for this. I gotta get closer. Yeah. Nope. Doesn't look like there's a way to swim into the broken building. I need something to get me over the metal wall and inside. Um. I mean, but I can't get into that. Push over tree. Let me try my focus. I was gonna try and open that gate. I am not yours, so strong. Works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. No, oh, get up. Thank you. Not what I wanted you to do. <clears throat> Stand here. Come on. Eh? Eh? Excuse me. Can you. No? Get up. <gasps> Aloy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, what was the angle? Okay. Oh. Yep, thank you. There's a ladder on the other building. I can Ooh. make that jump. Looks like it's stuck. Maybe I can use my weight to make it drop. What, just by going on it? Whoa. No! That was our only way out! Ay, well, I guess I have to go back round. Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out. But we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? There are more who made it. They're safe now. Thank the Ten. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight for now. Oops. Okay. He wasn't giving me any kind of prompt, so I wasn't quite sure what it wanted me to do, but... Is that it? Is that all I needed to do? I should do it. Okay! You should have a way out! Thanks! We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. Okay. I, I can talk about them. I should head back to Natika. Oh, hey, Alex. Thanks for the sub. Nice to see you. Sorry I didn't see that. I haven't got my computer set up. Um, thank you so much for supporting the stream. Glad to see you. Refreshing, I guess. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? <laughs> I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the chief's guard, but he refused to just charge me from the squad. All Tanakt are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You and Kentok. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to a squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with a chief's guard. Mm. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. What's the Grove? It's an ancient ruin dedicated to the Ten, the bravest of soldiers from the Old World. Chief Hikaru rules from his throne there. Only a handful of soldiers are chosen for the honor of serving in the Chief's Guard. So, why did Kentok not want you to go? 
He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the grove? The chief himself. Hmm. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. I don't think it was just a I've mudslide. More, and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. <clears throat> There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? Guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's mm. apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert. Where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital, we collect rocks. <laughs> Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? <laughs> I mean, I like to collect rocks too. <laughs> my, all my rocks are important rocks. We can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Latika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed, but then the flood took him towards the gouge. Towards the gouge. Towards the passage that leads deep underground. Oh, well, I was just at the gouge. I'll show you. I was just Natika, at the gouge. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. I know where the gouge is. I was literally there like minutes ago. We must go for a swim. So I had a feeling it wasn't going to be just that, you know, like. And also this noise, like... There's obviously something more going on than just... Than just the, uh, the flood, I think. That must be the gouge. Looks like it only could mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some to get inside. Oh, time to head in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Okay. Deep. Oh, there's Ken Talk. Take it easy. It must be Ken Talk. I was an outlet, not my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Oh, I love how he's done his hair and his makeup. And Natika, she came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed <coughs> to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. Mm. So Leave me. No. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Yeah, well, I'm boss. What 
Water's so. coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. With the water. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. You you don't even talk to, to me about fucking fire Just claws, mate. Sit tight. I'm Those going things to get are hard. Alright. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. coming from that vent. Yeah, we'll work this close. Dead end. There must be another source. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting how to jump a second time. <gasps> Aloy. Oh. oh. Wow, you dick. Okay, well... Nice to see you. Sorry if you didn't hear me reply. Just saw your uh, sub. Thank you so much for the sub. Thanks for supporting the stream. So lovely to see you. Um, the babies are doing good. Paint chips are real fat fuck now. Um, <clears throat> more fun to do with it a bit more, but he'll get there. Drop. Okay, now what? Uh. <laughs> okay. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. I'll find its source. Yeah, I'm all good considering that I'm sick. Um, just, you know, kind of getting on. I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire queen to break open that wall. And this... this should flood. Grab Kentox and should float right up to the top. Yeah, I mean, what? Well, he's fine. He's just not growing as quickly as Pain Chip is. What did you um, do? I found us a way out. I hate to weigh them actually, I haven't weighed them, but then my um, scales hey, are in a box somewhere. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting.
Uh, did he just die? He wanted me to tell you. The blade answers only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Lady Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldiers. I like how he did his like his hair Even into with... his his makeup. You saved my cool. comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. What did I get? What did she give me? A weapon? Oh, a vindicator. Oh, it's a new Oh yes, bitch. Holy shit. <clears throat> weapon stamina, Vala Surge Master. Critical strike, resilient trapper, silent strike gain. Mm, what am I wearing now? Yeah, but I can add coils. I can add my coils. What's in here? Did I do I not have? Oh, take this out. Unequip. Unequip. Put this on. Uh put the concentration in. Yeah. No. Wait, hang on. Do I not have two concentrations? Did I not just take the concentration out? Or do I want a health regen? That would be kind of nice. Mm, no, let's do the health regen. Let's put that in there. And then we can go and find a crafting desk and... Um... and uh, upgrade this outfit as best as we can <clears throat> right so it's now telling us to do uh do you, should we go do this cauldron is that a shelter let's go to the shelter and then um uh see if we can upgrade this outfit I look fucking sick. Um, can you? Can you climb up stuff, please? Thank you. Um, and then we'll go and do the cauldron. Which I think would be a good shout because it means we can override some more stuff. And then maybe we'll go and do the main quest. Does that sound like a vibe? Go and do ether. I'm not quite sure how how long I want to game today. Quick save. Right. Um. Oh, Sunwing. <laughs> Have the silent strike game on it now. Um, right. So we can go quickly get this because it's right here. Excuse me. I don't know why, but when I keep burping, I'm tasting like. I don't know what kind of taste it is. It's like a cherry flavor, but I haven't had anything cherry. Um, I can't really describe the taste, but it's certainly not anything that I've eaten today. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I'm looking for a plane. I think.
Yeah, here we go. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. Mm. Just gotta figure out how to get inside. <gasps> oh, I mean that would do, I guess. Ah. Ah. Oh god, Aloy. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my god, Aloy, jump. Thank you. Whoa, I don't like the angle it's at. It's weird. Sweet! Black box. So like every time I do one, it's telling me about another one. That's kind of cool. There must be another crashed plane out there. <laughs> we. What's this? This seems like a trap. Don't don't you think? This feels like somewhere I'd have a jewel. Oh, I'm just gonna run. Hey, like, can you? Oh my god, can you? Thank you. <coughs> I keep forgetting I can glide and it's making things so much easier now that I'm consistently remembering that I have that as a skill. Can you, you can climb this, can't you? Come on. Alright, so... It was... So, oh, I don't think I can... I'm gonna have to go down anyway. Because it's not going to let me climb this. I'm trying to shortcut it and it's not going to work. Go on. Go up. Ryan's finally stopping. Mm-hmm. Those perception skills, Aloy. Okay. So that's where we just were, right? Yeah. Um, we, we, I can just glide down the mountain now, right? Pretty much. We go back up and then we can glide down. Dun 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 dun. I'm like Terminator, just like speed running through the forest. <coughs> Pretty sky. I can't. My God, I can't say anything with a high note. <clears throat> wow. Right. So the cauldron is like right there. But I don't know, should I just glide down?
Let's get a better view. Can you just toggle that for a second? Ah, it's fucking dope. Wait, let's go like here. Mm. Mm, there's not enough in the foreground. Maybe like, maybe like there. Um, no, I like this tree. I like this tree in it. And then let's toggle this back on, let's do time of day. I want more stars in the sky. And then we can do this. Oh, okay, yeah. And then... <clears throat> This is cool. Okay. No. Oh my god. I need this button. There you go. Can I uh, t change the the view length? Uh... Oh my god. Yes, that's so much better. Oh god. So pretty. Yes, please. Take a picture. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking sick! And then we exit. And uh, we resume. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to do things like this. Thanks, Gaia. Iota. I need I need more prairie dogs. Um for crafting reasons. Liked it. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, oh my god. Okay. I mean, is there no okay, no there is. I was gonna say is there no campfire nearby? But do I want to be up here to kill these bitches? Because, you know, that's kind of a priority. Are they still too far away? I think they are. I might manual save quick. Just to be safe. So, wait. Let's 
Oh, the apex ones. Weak to water, strong versus... Strong versus shock. Uh, uh, uh. hunter killer means trouble. Oh my god, he's coming. Come on. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Bye. Hey. I have high ground Anakin, you can't take me. Yes. Nice. These rabbits are fast, man. Um <clears throat> But I need prairie dogs, I think. I'm, I'm... Oh, there we go. Two prairie dogs. Sorry, buddies, but you know, you need to die for my benefit, so... Bang. Come on, friend. Hello there. Now's my chance. Hi, uh. Come this, come this way, come this way, come this way. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, watch to avoid the other trap. Come here! Come here! Oh, he completely jumped over my trap. I don't like, I, I mean, I love new stuff, don't get me wrong, but there is just so much new stuff that my brain's like, eh. Okay, um. It's a cauldron door, but different. No way to hack it open. I'm gonna have to find some other way in. <laughs> the way she rubs her face in the snow.
Okay. Repair pod. Where is he? Alright, the path pod was over here, wasn't it? Oh my god, I got so distracted by the prairie dog that I hear a robot. Right, where's this? Where's this repair pod? Oh my god. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's a convoy. Yeah. Where's this repair pod that? Uh, oh my god. This crevice is massive. As if the earth split open fast. Must have been an earthquake. Oh. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Bye. Ah, oh my god, oh my god. Zabura. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm gone. I'm gone. Bye. Yeah, bye. Okay, gone. Level 22, it should be fine. Right, do I glide down? I do not think I'm fully prepared, but you know, I am willing to just go for it. Well, bye. Okay. I know there was a hook there, but I just want to check. Ah, well, I mean, I guess I can check up. Ah, oh, I was betting that that opens up over there, but I'm going to look anyway. Yeah, this is just so well, okay.
Fuck you, I'm protected in here. Yeah, you guys can't get me in here. Yeah, fuck you. And then let me just take this one. And... Fuck, fuck you guys. Oh, okay. I can climb up that. Oh, oh she's pulling it all. She's talking about this. Yep. Yeah, there's another one. This is a cool strider, I think. again the dead yeah fuck you those bridges I might be able to climb them to get to the other side mm, shit I don't have enough blast pace I never have enough blast pace not gonna lie <clears throat> Right, so there are a few things to avoid. One. There's another one over here. Ah, oh, but I can't get over there. Okay. Oh. 
and then where? Across? Okay. And then up? Then back down? And then... Across? Go. Go on. Back. Yeah. Go that way. Thank you. And then... Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. There's something behind these broken panels. Maybe I can bust through? Eh. Okay, good, because I didn't really want to use it. I really didn't want to lose that trap. Let's go try it. Thank you. Take this one back. Is it just going to straight up die from that? Almost. Oh, useful. Take it. Right. Well, that wasn't a clever Aloy, I was hardly close to it. Um, 
That looks like it can go. Oh, uh, well. Okay. That's dope. The earthquake must have interrupted the process. Oh, am I gonna have to fight a tornado? Surely not. Okay, well. Let's go, shall we? I really hope it's not too hard. Just have to expose the core and get those overrides. I don't think it's gonna be this easy. What? This tall, like, <laughs> what? Oh, did that you keep me? Okay, so I'm gonna heal up even though that was probably a waste i'm going to have my stew ready yeah, that can be good the roller bag uh, definitely that definitely that definitely that what is it oh, yeah, 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 yeah. what's he weak to weak to acid to acid, fine. Can do. Oh. Um, eat. Um, 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 There, chop up! Where's my knees on? Oh, please run away. Please run away. Please run away. Oh, shit. 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 I missed. Oh, 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 my heart. Run, 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck me! It was quick, why are they so fast? Oh. I have no help. Have I not scanned the lance on you? Seems to be a 
Ich hab das Träumen mit Sonic. Träumen. Träumen, Träumen, der Freund. Oh, that reminds me that Lego is bringing out a new... They're bringing out a Tornik Lego set. And I'm so hyped for it. And I've just had some money come in. Um, for my old place where I used to live and um, it's not a lot but down here what is that what is that really what she's saying um, I don't think that's right really Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, there is a floor too. Okay. Well, I mean... Uh, oh my god. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really excited for this Lego set. And we'll probably do like a Lego stream, maybe. Where do I go? Aloy, where do I go? Oh, here? Ooh, okay. Jump! Aloy! Where do I go? Why do I feel like I'm not gonna have the end yet? Okay, so timing. It's almost there. All the vibrations are feeling so good in my hands right now. Hoping to strike it from below, but oh, okay, fine. Fuck you. Anywhere 
soon. Hmm. These vents should get me across. Where am I going now? Down? Or uh, up? Uh, uh, left! Uh. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm here now. And you go across, and then you go up a bit more, and then you go across, and you go across. Hey, Lloyd! Like, oh my God, where am I meant to go? <clears throat> Over there, right? I'm meant to grab those things. So why don't you across? Go across. And you jump. Thank you. Third time lucky. Looks like the only way across is up. Okay. It's always good to have extra. Hearing a robot, and I can't see it. Okay, so Where is it? Fuck me. Oh my god, there's more. I can hear the healing as well. <laughs> oh, okay. I go slow.
Ooh, ow. I think that was a glitch there. Ow. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, uh, oh, no. Okay, well, I'm here now, and... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I just need to run to where they are so that I don't keep getting pushed to the edge because like this is getting dumb. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't run. Critical strike, critical strike, critical strike, please. Critical thank you. Okay. Fuck you. Oh my god. to go up. Go on. Aloy. Oh my god.
Oh my god, who else is attacking me? Who else do I have to kill? This guy. It, uh, is it? Oh my god, there are so many. Can I not? I can't. I don't think I'll be able to go past that shield. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, uh, hello. Ouch. Okay, he's dead. Who's next? Ah, ah. Yes. So we friends. Oh my god. Sheesh. Okay, 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 okay. No, that's the only one. Thank you. He's done, okay. He's left. Fuck you. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No eating here tonight, no eating here tonight, no, no, no eating here tonight. We're on a diet. Oh Christ. I'm sweating, hang on. Um, under here, I guess. Alright, so... <clears throat> Okay, I guess just go into the thingy then. I think I can hear the head being repaired. That's what she said. Just saying. Wait, can you just... Thank you. Alright. Oh, nice. The guy's fixed. Oh, I've got another 
arms keep it in place. Maybe if I override the Tolmec, the shockwave will break it free. Do I? Free. Gorgeous this is. I get so excited over it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's focus it. Oh, but look how pretty it is. I just want to take a picture of that on its own, man. Can I change her pose? Because it's still technically in a cutscene. Yeah, I can't change her pose right now. Like, oh, just well. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, yes. It's good to breathe some fresh air again. You isn't too bad either. The view isn't too bad. Look how stunning it is. Alrighty. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So <clears throat> we're gonna do Ether next. I want to lean forward for a little while. <clears throat> um, so we could go. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's just go ahead and do this. Um. We'll, we'll glide down to the campfire, we'll free travel down to uh, this one. Oh yeah, that was the cauldron we were going to do. And we didn't do it because we were like, eh. That's where it is. Um, okay, well we can maybe finish on that, but I feel like doing some quest line. <clears throat> but we'll free travel to this. Uh, so we want to we wanna just tag that real quick. Up. I didn't do the cool repel thing where it did the <laughs> noise and I kind of regret it, but oh well. Me hard save. I feel like I hear someone shouting, but... I could be wrong. Um... <clears throat> okay. Ah. Uh. Right. So we're gonna go this way. 
We're not gonna do. Oh, but should I go stock up first? Would that be an Fair idea? Fitting place for Yara and Draka's challenge, I guess. Let's 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 just let's just let's just stock up first, because that's just gonna be the safest bet. Because <clears throat> I feel like I'm low on supplies. Um, oh, there's a new quest here. So, uh, let's just go around. Oh, is it up here? Still can't buy any of these. Ooh. There are so many weapons now, it's just like, oh, okay. Oh, and I wanted, I wanted to buy uh, blast stuff. Can I not? Oh, here we go. And then I, and then I craft as many as I can. And then I buy some more. Oh, and I go into my stash. And I refill what I have. Hmm, okay. I do need the trade, so come back. About upgrades. Yes. Wait. Shoot. Is that it? Okay, well, potion pouch we can prioritize, and then we can do this. And then we can do this one. Nice. Um. um. Medium health potion? Nice, okay. Um, why is it saying five though? I don't know. Oh, okay, and then we're going to go right down. Go back to the bonfire, which is where? Huh? Yeah. Go oh, grab some food from the dude. Nice, and then we travel back to this. Smashing. Oh, thunder door. Oh, thank you. That's a dead cauldron, isn't it? Wait, that's that's part of where we did the fight. Did I not look at that properly? But anyway. Whatever is making that noise is terrifying me. It's just a thunder door. Okay. Hi friend. I'm 
getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. An ancient ruin turned into a Tanakh stronghold. Could Ether be inside? Around's not going to be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Are they friendly? Our marshals are slain. Many more soldiers killed since. Nagala's army only grows in strength. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true. But Regala's forces may seem strong now. But Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't fought her. Oh, I like her hair. Oh, we. What are we doing? You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh. The warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come <clears throat> to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's there's something I need here. Anything you need, the chief will provide. Ewu, how welcome come. to the group. Oh, sorry, my brain's half dead because I'm sick. You were talking about? Thanks yes. for the follow. The records of the ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the chief. Right, so I wasn't paying attention to anything These she was saying. Visions. You said they're the records of the ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior? To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regatta. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. Yeah, but we're still I busy. I will try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. Mm, sure. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. Uh, I'm gonna take a very very quick BRB. I'm gonna go pee. So just everyone go get a drink, go to the toilet, and whatnot, and I'll be back. The visions have inspired many. Take all the time you need.
Hello there, I'm back. Right then, so what were we doing? <coughs> we were gonna go see the chief. So uh, there was a box here, yeah. I want that. Did I even use the bonfire out here? Are you leaving? We must see good you return. The chief is in his throne room. Never mind. I can show you the visions on the way. It's interest glitched. It's been complete. Joint force ten at ten up. The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Sand. Oh. Okay, well, that's that one. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy hey, until the perfect moment to strike. The the Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to you real quick. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. Oh, that Delver did say thing. there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Ooh. Okay. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Uh, let me give you something for it. Nice. Um. I mean. I don't really, I don't really need any oh, legendary stuff. Two black boxes for this. Do I need anything? I mean, I don't have... And why not? These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. 
My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. It should help me to find any others that are still out there. Why is there a, um... Oh, did I miss this? Yep. And there's something over here. Nice. And there's someone here to speak to. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. Good to see you, Aloy. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They seem a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. Your paths cross again. What's up? Hello. Come on, let me. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. Natika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kent up to rest, and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. Okay. It's a pretty uh, fancy building for uh, the old ones. Like it's a bit. Mm. What's this? It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Sure. I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. 
we will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. Mm, not quite. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Mm. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. Mm, that could take a while, though. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? Ooh. You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My I way mean, I'm prepared. might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. Mm. I can't hold a cool route with two or the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there. And he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Mm, okay. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead? She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. I'm sorry. 
about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashaw. He will be missed. It's mm -hmm. nice. <clears throat> what exactly is the cool route? Do you once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respects strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. Mm. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years. Killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor. Or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the Old One say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne? You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Okay, well, I mean, how much do we believe this guy? I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead.
Um, I also realised that I can um, dye my outfit, and I didn't do that, so we could do that. Maybe next. Come, let us speak. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way. And our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Okay. So she gave me a bow. Oh, is that tear arrows? Fuck yes. Oh, fuck yes. That's going here. And we're going to put a coil in it. Tear damage. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna get ether. Guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. Right, so we need to go. Oh, so far away. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this, and then I'm gonna go back and dye my outfit, and then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. Save. Fast travel. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's so itchy. Fast travel. Uh, we're gonna tie our outfit and then, and then we'll go back. And then. And then we'll go and do that. I can't believe I'm begging a bird for intel. Hi, can we? Not the stitcher. The tire. Where's the tire? The trade is welcome, Outlander. Down here. Is she down? Yes. Hi, friend. Ah. Uh. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. No crimson bloom, no. Let's do this one. Nice. That's a nice color. Right, and now we go back. Um, or we can double check that we can upgrade this bow first, actually. Um, I will get used to this town eventually. <coughs> okay, I don't know. This one? Nice. Can I do two? Please let me do two. Yes. Maybe three. Three would be nice. Oh, yes. Go on. Let me do four. Oh, shell snapper. Okay. Well, three's nice. Okay. Hey, stranger. Are you no, not right now, I think. Uh, one guy is over here. Right? Yeah. Okay, and then we quick we quick travel to I mean I kinda wanna see what these question marks are, so we'll go back to this. <clears throat> um, because that's also where my um my man is anyway. Is he still here? Oh, well, he is now. Uh, let's see what this is first. Oh, black box.
Oh, do I get in? It's quite dark, so I can't really see. Ouch. Hmm. There's a flight recorder nearby. I could add it to the collection of the book. I touch the wing. <clears throat> I might be able to use that to get in. Oh, my nose is so itchy. And I hate, like, touching it on stream. It's so uncomfortable, but... Yeah. Can I have some daylight, please? Go into the bottom. No. Oh well. I mean, it's there is no hole to get in. Okay. Well, at least I know it's here. Oh my gosh! Hang on. My nose. It's like hurting. Five of It won't let me save. Well, great. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so... Um... I ran past two question marks as well. Should I just keep running? 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 Oh, I'm running! Bye! I'm gone. I'm gone. Yeah, just, just, just keep going.
do want to get as many foot campfires in the way just because of like fast travel though. Do I have to go across? There is a question mark up here. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Ooh, he's weak to acid, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go get out of the water. Where's he going? Fuck you. Where the fucking fuck did that guy come from as well? Well, people are helping me because I heard voices. The shelter here. Mm -mm. <laughs> I make an interesting color for my armor. Well, oh. Aloy, please. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> 
Okay. Oh, another shelter. Ah! Whoa. Excuse me. Just, just get right down to this, please. Why is it taking so long to load? Rain's letting up. The steering on this thing is a bit whoa, that loading was a bit slow as well. It's another fucking thunder jaw. Go on. So there's a shelter like over there. Can I go? Oh, there's a bench there. And an and I'm right. Yes. Double killed whatever it was. What was that? A pigeon. <laughs> Hilarious. I just walked straight into like an ambush. Oh, buddy, can uh, buddy, can you? Can you? Whoa! What did you just do to me? Buddy, you're getting in the way. Anyone else? Buddy, you're really getting in the way. Oh my god, he's just like walking around. Can you can you go away? 
Oh my god, buddy. Oh. Did everyone die? I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna repair him. He just like totally got in the way of all my shit, so... And also I have like very little business left to go. Should be waiting for me, but maybe I should look around first. You can get a strong color out of this. I got no hills. Oh no, I do. There's Catalo. Is that the champion of the East I see? Then I have something to share. Have you? Yeah. What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan land. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing it. In fact, I should tell you. They say you're a skilled fighter, Outlander. But I wonder how well you'd do against Ureo. One of our combat trainers at the Bulwark. Pretty sure I can hold my own, but it's always room to learn. <laughs> well said. Pay Areo a visit if you can. Maybe I will. Okay, Mealy Pit. Nice person, Master. Hi, friend. Not that I can get anything from you anyway. Uh. There's nothing you want. You know where I am. Mm, food guy. The rebels are hiding in fear today. Hey. Stranger, are you looking to trade? Uh, is that everything? Yes. Hello, friend. Do you mind if I sit here? Should we just take a moody picture together? Can I... Can I not... Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Maybe it won't. But hang on. Weird. It's like not letting me. It might become an insider. Oh. Insider town. This valley is infested with Regalus rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. He 
If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. Oh, rude. Oh my god, he sounds so angry. What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. I mean, no. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chieftain from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? Nope. I have no questions. Nope, nope. I have no questions. Oh, thank you. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Mm. <laughs> That's good. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through find a way to sneak past unnoticed neither will be easy okay never is <clears throat> let's get this over with okay. on me travel safely sir. How would you convince Takote to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. Where Rebels you have to go? How did you know I'd agree to machine. have Hikaru? Got them. Or sneak around. We ran too quickly, I cut off. 
I cut off the dialogue. Um, where are they? I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. Oh, they're here. How many? Anyone else? You're not as sneaky as you thought. Let's teach them respect! Intruder! Together! Oh. We can't let this get in the Oh shit, I should have gone to him first. What a shot. Oh, oh, I was hoping I could. Nice headshot on my end. Okay. I'm running out of. Okay. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a full sense of safety there. I'm gonna run a bit slower in case there's more. In the clearing. Dialogue. Take the lead. Okay. Is there a leader? There's the champion. Oh, there's two? Okay. Wow. Well. Stiff drink wouldn't hurt either. Can I can I equip it, please? Come here. Come here. I think my eyeballs are frozen. <laughs> I think my eyeballs are frozen. Come here. Come in. I hate this snow. What? What? Hey, over there. You better help me search. Stop there. No, the wrong one. The wrong one. Oh, I'm gonna suck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Hey, oh, fuck. Get off me. Let's go. 
Save, 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 save. Thank you. Can I grab some help? Next fight. Okay, let's go. Where is he? There we go. Hello. Yeah, I'm coming. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well, maybe we can change his mind. mountains. Find this in my stash later. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm fine. Pretty. You there! A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, marshal. I'll send the lift for you. I look like a weak spot, don't you think? <clears throat> Back again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. And the colors are so pretty. That's a terrible wound. The last marshal. Finally completed all of your challenges. Just remember to watch your side. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer shunned. This is it. Ready. We're here for Takote. Let us in. It's making me hungry. <coughs> the Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Root. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. 
Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls, our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. <laughs> that was then. I tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. Say something about the wall. I told you. Words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. I destroyed the wall. Destroy it. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? Because I think there's a weak spot. Be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Whee! Whee! Hello. Oh, the snow's coming down heavy. Um. Now am I going? Do I need to go back down here? Whoa! No, no. So, do I go down here? Just you wait. Do I go down here? I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Where is this water coming from? Scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. <laughs> well, can't do anything else here. Oh, yeah. Gotta go find Catalo. Colors are so pretty. These are some of my favorite colors. They're pink and blue. <laughs> wow, what an angle that was. Okay, so he was where? Oh, where was he? Oh, where is he? Is he down here? 
Is he, is he, is he down here? Oh, well, my bad. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The guard said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the town have you been up to? Dakota said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? Well, don't remind me. So, we take it down. <laughs> Did you hit your head on the way down here? Mm -hmm. I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. <sighs> Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? <laughs> Snap! Bitch! That was an unkind comparison. <laughs> Hilarious. Wait, where are we going? might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Yeah, I mean, I've done it alone. Yeah? sense. You don't like courage. Oh my god. So, um, oh my god. Back there, okay, you know what? These two goats need to die. It seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. Come on, give me the sheep. Thank you. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Alright, so I want some grass. Or Okay, cutscene, never mind. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Oh shit. Okay, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hang on. Let's use some skill points, shall we? <laughs> um, I'm gonna push you guys back. So I can move forward. Okay, um, so. This. Hi, Argus. Dumbo too, electric boo. <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't have a bolt blast, so it doesn't count. Um. Uh, I don't have this one equipped anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and then let's do in the melee, let's do this. And then I don't have enough for another one, do I? No. Valerie, thank you for the follow. Um, <clears throat> welcome to the chat. Oh, uh, I get around with dying. Okay, right. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. How's my cannon? Sabo cannon. They're all the touchable, so. 
Oh. I mean, I could just take this person out real quick. Yeah, be any louder. Be any louder. Holy shit. Oh fuck, I missed. I can't see! Oh. Oh. Run! 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 It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I also just like wasted all of my skills, didn't I? I just did, did it save? Did it save my skills? Oh, no, I don't think it did. No, no, it did. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. I'm the still gonna take this person out. Yeah, oh my god, he saw me! It saw me, it saw me. Never mind. That was a bad idea. Are you gonna come here? Do it again! Do it again! Run! <laughs> oh no, it knows where I am. Kind of. Oh no, it definitely knows where I am. I'm gone. Bye! Holy shit! Uh, 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 uh
Oh, it's a dude here. Oh no, hang on, that's my friend. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! Ow. I missed. Oh, I set it on fire. Ow. Ow. Do you want to die? Please. No! Oh, fuck you. I didn't even use my valor. Oh, sheesh. I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. Bless him. <clears throat> it's alright, you can be the you can be the pack horse and I'll be the armory. After you. Hey. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive. Can I killing the rebels in the machine? Uh this one. Was good. Just take a fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Oh, no, soon enough. No, he can run so fast with that on his back. Oh. My bad. I was going the wrong way. Faster than me with the fucking gun on his back. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Okay. Go on. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working! Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. And take this cripple with you. Oh, well, that's dead.
Oop. What have you done? Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. <laughs> Never. We will. We will rebuild it immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon, let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Ooh. Listen, I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. <laughs> oh, Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera. The chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. Oh, okay. We may need another miracle there as well. I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gera. I don't think they want me up there, but I can go and have a look. I'll go see what this quest is as well. Um, I do need to pee too. Oh, what are these? Oh, maybe a dyer. Oh, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go that back up. Be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. New face paint. You're right, Aloy. What's up with your face? Well. She looks snowburn. Uh, are they all quests? Oh, there's loads of quests. <clears throat> Oh my god, so many quests. Oh, the famous Nora. Let's have a trade. Um, maybe in a minute. Up. Okay, let's just go see what these all are. she who shakes the mountain. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you. To see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. Mm -hmm. I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed a blast with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Mm -hmm. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Dakota another black eye? Mm -hmm. Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. Okay, well, I'm not going to do any of these quests yet. Um, I want to... 
I just want to like see them first. But I don't know how to get up there. Hello. What's going on here? The Wallbreaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Lataka, to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. <laughs> I guess you can't miss the path. <clears throat> They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. Okay. Fine. No slacking, soldier! <sighs> Wait, was that on oh, no. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so I need to I still need to go up somehow. Well, good thing I have a little something. Maybe here? Yeah, there we go. I'm telling you, she flew. It sounds like Regala intends to lay siege. Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the ten. But I say, hanging on to a stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. <laughs> ha! You admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain. <laughs> the Stormbird still circles the peak. But we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountaintop. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. Ooh. I'm a pretty good climber. For new armor. No doubt. But unless you want to try what Freka did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. That sounds good. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mute in time. Um, no, it wasn't that, was it? It was an errand? Or a side? Wait. Was it not an errand? <gasps> Level thirty-two. Okay, maybe not. Right. So we have two question marks, and I'm gonna go past them both on the way. The first. Is him the dire? Yes, hello. Still nothing new. You could okay. take another look if we want to reclaim our honor. And this is a uh, uh, face paint. So we got a new tonight. Oh, pretty, but I still like the, the normal one better. Yeah, I keep I keep what I've got. Okay, so now we need to go back to the man, right? And then we can go inside. <coughs> um, yeah, let's do that because I, I and I'm gonna quickly go pee. Um, whoa. <laughs> Uh, where is... I love how they all bitch at me for, like, jumping around. Okay, and then the fire is where? Like, right in front of me? Yeah. Hard save, because I'm gonna go pee. <clears throat> um, and then fast travel to this one. Let's see if I can see what these two question marks are real quick. Time. 
times. And it might, hmm. It's coming close to you. Like, we'll see if we can try and finish this um this main quest, and then maybe call it a night. Cause I have to be up, like not too not too early for um, uh my my shower is being fitted tomorrow. So oh, it's a fist point. Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered to do this right now. This image is of the old world. Looks like a plane and some kind of metal structure. Um, plane, plane. Plane. Ah, here's the plane. Oh, no, oh, I just ate one of my meals. Is it actually this? No. There's a plane. There's a plane here. Ah, oh, there's a plane. There's another plane. Uh, if I go this way, there's the metal structure. No, yes. Ah. Uh, stay in the right area and try again. Well, I mean, I there's a plane. Try to match the Vista point image. Okay, got the image back. I can make out a plane, a metal structure of some kind. Lost at this point image. Hmm. must have moved too far. Okay, got the image back. I can make it a plane, a metal structure of some kind. But there's the plane on the floor. I don't think it's that actually. If it is, then it's not at that angle. Uh, we'll come back to it because and this is is this saying in this area like it's saying field <clears throat> mountains. I think I'm out of range. Yeah. Oh well. well. I'm going the wrong way, so to be fair. I'm gonna try again. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be this one, right? But I don't really know. Oh, there's a plane here, look. Was taken overlooking a field. Maybe I could try to line it up somewhere in the nearby hills. Hmm, I don't know. There's another plane here. Meh. Where am I going for this? 
Oh, yeah, it's right here. Can I not? There we go. Um. Meh, I can't figure out what this is. Um, I kind of just want to figure out the... Um, the quest. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. F well, I'm actually really close. I can just run, and then I'm gonna go pee. Um, I think I'm out of range at the vista point. I'm gonna try again. Because the last time I did a. Oh, no no, you not uh, Yeah, it's fine. The last time I tried to do a Vista point near the end of the stream and I nearly in my controller at the screen. Oh, so my TV my TV's broken, right? What's well, it broken? It's got this one line going across the screen. I can't see it right now because it's quite dark. But whenever there's a light colour on the screen, like on like a like when it's in the desert for example. Um, it's really obvious. It's right in the middle. Like if I was to, like, say, just where Aloy's head is, like from from where her arrow bow her bow is, or like rather, I can't point it out. It's like see where that corner is of the building, going across all the way this side from the corner where that where her where her bow is reaching that that ledge all the way across in one line is making like this weird like white uh line across the screen so um <clears throat> we contacted tesco because i bought it from tesco and they're going to refund me about half outlander chief akaro and marshall katalo await you within cool thank you uh, yeah, so they're going to refund me about half what I paid, to about 150 quid, because I paid about 300 pounds for it. And I get to keep the TV, so... The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And ether. Right, I, I'm going to wait here real quick, I'm going to go pee, and then we'll get going. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne.
Okay. This must lead to the arena. This is one fancy building, seriously. I hope I don't have to compete or anything. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They ain't so abandoned. Regardless of the trials. Who crush her? This could be useful. Am I ready? Not really. Okay, now I'm ready. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. <clears throat> Both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line. And I'll have my marshals. Okay. Be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Okie dokies. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. Mm -hmm. uh, the arena? The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool root where they fell. Okay. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Look more this will be a heavy day. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but I like this one more though. Oh, wait. It looks cool though. I may, I may as well. I kind of like it. Stealth, low health, heavy weapon. This is better. I can feel it. Be vigilant. Regala means to make good on her threat. You've come this far. There can only. Hey, I saw that. They're not taking this I place feel from us. Knowing. You're on our side, Outlander. Your blade be breath. Mr. Kote, this thugs, of course. What an honor. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. 
Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Bitch. <laughs> Fucking owned. I guess I wouldn't have been able to go around the other way. Okay. The Karo's defenders should be at the end of this trench. We are not alone in this fight. I love how there's just a pile of rocks like right there. Um Oh there's a gun here. Can I can I climb up please? Ladder? Ladder or something? Anything? Anything for me to climb, please? Eh? There we go. Boy, please. Do you want to climb? Oh, it's a ladder right there. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Focus on the machines. Take <clears throat> them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above. Not that. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. <laughs> Let's go. Demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! All who take down a machine! Shall be named Marshal. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did, and seize your glory. Ouch.
That's not going to be it. All the vibrations are insane. Brutal. <laughs> this is Sparta! Just kick the dude off the fucking edge. Oh god, it's a serpent. Okay, here we go. These guys were um, the um, acid, yeah. Get to the weapon! If I can draw that thing close, open fire! Hey! That's right, over here, you big worm! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, weak to fire, weak to fire. Shots from that ballista. Bam. 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 Come here. Oh, 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 I just blew up my own fucking... Where do I take it? Over here? Away? Okay. I'm running. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. Oh. Come. Come here. Holy shit, man. Oh, cannon. Oh no, never mind, it wasn't a cannon. Dickhead. Keep up the tension. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck. I can't fire. In the face.
here. Oh. Freeze it. Ay, 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 Get on fire, get on fire, get on fire. Get on fire. Yes! Bitch. Fuck you. You... Okay, he's gone. Okay. Um... Where do I go up? Not there. Oh, I could do with some health actually. I mean, like, he's probably not dying right away, right? Go up this way. Oh, okay. Oh. Champion, get to the team. Get to where? Where? In here. This way. Eh. I thought Katala lost his other arm then. Yeah, fuck you, Regala. Get lost. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. Sure. Ooh. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. <clears throat> I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. Okay. Let's go. Is 
below. We. Console. But first. But first, I check all the holes. Nothing. Just that one, yeah? Yeah. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Lester override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Get this back to Gaia. Johnson, 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 thank you. Okay. So. Let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? can't fast travel to her, can I? No, but I can to here from outside, right? Yeah. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... arrived. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Got me a bit emotional, to be honest. <clears throat> Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. 
Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? <clears throat> so, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? <laughs> Should be interesting. We'll probably meet him there. <clears throat> All right. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the. I've got quest lines here now. Might be worth checking out. To the holograms. Okay. So wait. Oh, where are where are all the holograms? Because like it doesn't say on the map. You are the tip of the spear that shall finish Regala. We won't let Regala. There's one here. Aloy. Out in the field or relaxing at base. If you will. Major Armor Task Hall Force Hall. Ten acted as one, led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya. Their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. These daredevils of the sky share. Aloy. Decca, shut up! I'm watching a hologram. Please, let me let me watch my movies. Regala will strike the Your spear shall <sighs> join JTF ten for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. Whether at home or abroad, JTF ten protected Today. assets critical to the insurrection. In the name of the deep ten. in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. Okay, and then there was another one. Well, not there. There was more in here. Will strike yeah. <clears throat> Observe the grid of JTF ten in the mountainous regions. They need to watch them all for the data points. Blast, conditioned for any climate. JTF ten were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Your blade be bright. Discover how JTF-10 claimed home field advantage. JTF-10 seized key assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Nice. Okay. So, we have this guy. Go and see what this person wants. And then there was another one, like... May we speak? Yes, that guy would the do ten, one. Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cabo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. <clears throat> he was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaro cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've yeah, done. Yeah, but not right now. But Cabo is the last of my blood. <sighs> last of your blood? You said Cabo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. 
I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. Okay. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. Okay. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? Uh, Amida. I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. She's cool. I like that gun. <clears throat> okay, and then there was uh, this guy. Is he over here? On the other side. Is that how Easterners behave? Yeah, like, what are you fucking learning about? Where are you? The outside. I saw you training in the pit the other day. Oh, they're right over here. They're here. May honor we should ask her. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength <laughs> and generosity again. That noise. Just tell it to her straight, Dekka. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok. And it was damaged during the cool. <laughs> A fucking power or whatever it is. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, okay. bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. 
I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. I already and have some. there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tax. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Okay. Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. I shan't. Right. Where is that campfire? Right here, apparently. There it is. Guess I need to head southeast to find that roller back. Nope, we're going to go. Uh, there's gonna be like a dire here. And... Well, we're gonna go straight over here. And then we're gonna call it a night just as we come into five hours. Just nice and round. <clears throat> I see you, champion. Sit. What you got another rumor? What? What do you want? Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. <sighs> Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Thanks. Sounds like a Tanakh could use a hand dealing with these rebels. Oh, oh it's another gauntlet. They definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're heading. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Hello there. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. <laughs> Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? <laughs> Bring it back. Trace the line to your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy. <coughs> Errand. You're all better. <laughs> and you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. <laughs> I think Don't be so racist. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. And I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Osaram camp you two were looking for to the southwest. I wouldn't have taught you the song if I didn't like the way you sing it. Do you like hearing? Ooh. I guess this is my stash now. Um, I kind of wanna, I, I wanna do dialogue first. I think. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Oh no. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, I forgot I need to... 
can do this one. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's trying to find the music that. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I, I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. <laughs> oh my goodness, so much. Okay, okay, yeah, no, this is good, because we can just do all this and we can, we can finish stream with just some dialogue. You said the bulwark was your home a long time ago, that you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Is that what you're tell me? Fine. As you wish. My, my parents bad. were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote <laughs> took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a Big dangerous oops. climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Mm. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. <laughs> I like this guy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do training. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? 
Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see an Utaru in the ranks. <laughs> Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. Hmm. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything more there. <clears throat> That's a workbench here. Nothing. It's fine. Uh, let's do. Errand, errand, errand. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's <laughs> not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. There's a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. Your training. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. <laughs> I don't know what makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. <laughs> what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. Uh, more, more on companions. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh... Quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. Nice. More on companions. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. <laughs> but it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. Okay. Oh, uh, How are you settling? Uh, I don't, what, my bad. Doubt. My bad. Eh. I should get going. I just keep uh, practicing with this thing. Okay, ball. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, We'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. <laughs> Thanks, Varl. How's, uh, training <laughs> You know we really are training. Uh, mostly. mostly. <laughs> Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory, and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. 
The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Mm -hmm. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Farrell. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora war chief could have so much in common. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. Cool. Okay. More on companions. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. More on companions. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Okay. You can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. <laughs> we'll be fine. Okay. And then we want... So, hi, so. Farrell looks happy about his training partner. <laughs> Learning is best done together. Have mm -hmm. you gone back to playing song at all? I thought about it, but... I wouldn't know what to tell them. I fell in love with a Norman. already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. Okay. Let's start with the Utaru. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's start with the Utaru. So... How does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. Okay. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru Plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms, Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. That couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. 
so I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. Mm. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. Hmm. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. Mm. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. Goodness. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the <coughs> outside. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was not something I like to remember. So dying. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? Mm. I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. <clears throat> Your training. Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. More in training. So you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Did Zenith. Gaia tell you anything about the Zenith? She did, though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here, it is humbling, to say the least, and heartbreaking that such life should be bent on destroying ours. Mm. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes, the Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids, but Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah, she's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. I see you. Oh, uh, uh. So we nurture that it does. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? 
Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Aaron, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. <laughs> In this case, a very loud friend. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, I should probably go. Because all this dialogue has given taken like 20 minutes of dialogue. And we're just gonna have some more now with Gaia, so... <clears throat> Oh, is it in here? No, it is up the stairs. Okay, and then we're gonna finish stream. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Oh yeah, I can't do that yet. Okay. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Hmm. SOS. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Save our souls. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. Mm. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Yeah. Okay, so either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there, or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Mm. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe it's not them then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps mm. its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Okay. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. <laughs> I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focus. 
I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Yeah. Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Okay. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Okay. Alrighty then. So. <clears throat> Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Mm, which room? This one? This is Zoe's like room. someone's made this space their own. <laughs> I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private, private accommodations. accommodations. I see. Oh, that bed glitched in. <laughs> they wanted their own room. Uwu. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Cool. Alright, uh, not this one. <laughs> Looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in. This is Catalo's stuff. Oh, this is cute! This is Erin, she's got all the bombs and stuff. Oh, I like how they're all bringing all their shit in, like... Huh. The door's unlocked now. This one? This one? Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Let's do that. There's data here. Another room. What for? Oh, it's an audio one. Switch to a private log? Okay, so... Regional Control Center 9. Design of the... F oh, shit. Eh. Switch to a private log? Okay, so... Regional Control Center 9. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. Except personality. So, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. Starting with this little tucked away hideout. <laughs> August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages, like the kind in old English castles. Oh, but I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. Mm, okay. Can I can I get please? Can I get? Can I can I get? Can I get? How how do I get? Oh, duh. Needs a Try again. Nice. Okay. So was this was this the room that she was talking about, or was there another one? locked until Gaia can restore access. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your oh. companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. Oh. I was thoughtful of them. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. Oh. I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. Oh, is there more to do? found me after the Hades Proving Lab. I thought I saw Rost. 
I don't think he'd understand any of this. Or what I have to do. But still. She was here. Oh. What's this? I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia, and Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all. Cover the subfunctions, defeat Farzineth, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. Cool, and then oh, and what's this? Oh, token. This is the rite of passage that Vishav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. Yeah, I did too. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Mm. When I met Hikaru, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. Vishav was right. Hikaru wants peace. It won't be easy. But with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. Okay. <clears throat> right, so... We're now at a point where we have we have a new quest to do. Part of the main quest. Um God, so many of them are on hold, yeah, because I'm oh, technically I'm still in main quest. Okay, hang on. Like, let's go talk to them and see what happens, because like I don't I, I, I want to finish this particular part of the quest but if I have to do another like hour then not too sure because it's kind of late <laughs> there she is we'll see if you I can um, save from here let's go <sighs> look at us three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown this ought to be good <sighs> I think I have to do a bit more, but I don't mind. We could do a bit more. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Excuse me. Hello. Oh, it's the Zenith. He did it. He hurt her. Okay. Well, that takes the keg. So they shocked her, and then he was able to stab her because her armor was down. Right? Is she still there? Go find out if she's still there. Go see. If see if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Yeah, yes we will. Is she alive? So, well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost I mean, didn't make it. Hardly fought him. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? 
It looked like she can make it come and go at will. Vabina. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. This is one of the robots. The Spectre like? had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. The Aluthia. Aluthia. Can I scan it as a robot? No. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, wrong weapon. What's the prairie dog doing out in the snow? Small. Supply cash. Supply cash. Gun. Rabbit. Okay, so makes me think that it is a um a far zenith thing that and they were trying to protect it. Actually no, I think it was a a request has gone out. Ooh. A request has gone out and they've come to check it themselves. And then rebels have been like in the way. What am I looking for? Am I just like looking around the battlefield? Yeah. It's an Osaram, isn't it? An Osaram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah! The weapon's still hot. Don't touch it then. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. <clears throat> Pour some snow on it. The base looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right, I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errant. You got more of an idea than I do. I love how they've got like snow animation, it's good. What's up, buddy? All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that. Makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. Mm -hmm. The Osirum that was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. Yeah. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function the Asset could be here? Aluthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Val. Who's up here, right? Whoa, what was that red line? Did you see that? Down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. You check my stream. Oh no, it's there. It's lightning, isn't it? Whatever it was. Did you see it? Powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. 
That Zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. Any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Just stay out of the way, Aaron. But that red lightning is well creepy. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Anything down here? No. Okay. I don't like it when it does that. When it gives me a way to go and nothing in it. At least give me a cash like this or something, you know, like. <clears throat> Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Oh, that's a far... yeah, it's... <sighs> gross. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. So, that's a far zenith SOS signal. Probably reaching out to the far zenith guys with the other Gaia thing. Because she was trapped with her drone, right? Maybe? This was a far zenith research lab. Looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Mm. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Uh, do you think I'm meant to go down? The stairs up. Uh, let's go down first. Oh god, it's so big! Okay. Expect another owl then, guys. There's a door there. And then there's stairs. Do you think the stairs go back round? There's another door there. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Let me check. <clears throat> Let me check up here first, then and just kind of see where we're going. Okay, and there's one door here, so let's do... Oh, but I can pry this one open, I think? No? Okay, there's one door here, so let's do this one. Chambers. Oh my god, there's so much. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, stuff. not born? I wonder what they were doing. This is how. Well, now I'm far Zenith. Probably discovering amazing things. For their own benefit. Well, that, um, all that, all that dialogue was yeah. jumbled. That sounds about right. That's my fault for running back. This place keeps on going. We better check in that room. No, we can't. Uh, 
on it. I don't want to jump down because I don't want to get stuck. So we know what's up here. Is that a power cell? No. Okay, so we'll come back up here in a moment. We want to go back down. Go check out the rooms downstairs because I think I can get in that way. We'll start with this one on the left. Seems like a waiting room. Or an office. Or both. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. Okay, I did that one. And then it was up, right? And then here. This place is huge. Yeah, okay. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Power cell? Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zenith, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. That looks like it can open. I don't want to do the bottom floor yet. This looks like a halo rig, to be honest. Actually, no, like I find that's the bottom because it's making me. Crate. Take all the stuff. Let's just go back round because let's do, do two nice big circles. Because I did up here, right? Did I do up there? I feel like I did. Can I get in this? No. Hmm. There's another door I feel like I could open. Nothing. <coughs> It's glass there. To can... access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Is it gonna let me smash it? Oh, there's a door, I suppose. Is he in here? Anything? Just another door. Hmm, interesting. Oh, 237, wasn't it? 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? 237? I'm sorry for cutting Carl off. But Carl? Oh my god, Val. I was thinking of the word cutting and then I said Carl. His name is Val. It's beta. Aloy. It's you. It's beta. Skin's like ice. Hmm. 
Must have cut this from her head. But why? Elizabeth, uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're doing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. Oh, shit. I don't have the guy a colonel to merge them with. <gasps> you must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Uh, Aloy, can, oh can God! You me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Put her back in. Put her back in. Get her Put... to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. Oh, okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I don't know how to fight them. Can I, can I, can I check? Can I check? Look, it's a tortoise. So cute. Um, I don't think I can, I don't think I was able to scan. Um, 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 <coughs> Okay, let me, uh, just... Oh no, I don't wanna. Um, not, not right now. I'm not gonna change anything. I can put some more in this though. Yes, that'd be nice. Okay, um, and then I know we wanna walk. Can I just like set some traps up? I don't really know what I'm doing or what I'm preparing for. I I I I don't know if I can Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Where is it? How do I kill it? How do I kill it? Weak to acid. God, run. I should scan that thing. See if it has any weak spots. Oh, that thing's quick. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa. In the booty. Ooh. Oh. Eat that. <laughs> Nice. Is it is it on crit? It was on crit. 
Can I kill it? No. Top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Okay, okay, okay. Make some of these. Cause they're pretty good. These got these things are really fucking good. Gotta okay. get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Mm, was it this way? Nope. Yeah, was it this? Oh no wait, which way which way do I go? It is this way. But it's then Um I'm wasting my food time. No, then we go this way. And then this way. And then up. Okay, I got it. Right. I'm Aaron. coming. Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. I'm coming. Oh, that maybe. doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. Okay. Oh, that's right. Aaron, I'm here. My oh, job. That thing's shooting down the center. Uh, Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The specter's not budging from that spot. Oh, okay. Never mind. I sneak up on it. If I stay out of its line of fire. I need to sneak around behind it. A heavy weapon. That could help. Shields down! Uh. It's on the move! Oh, ouch. Ouch. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Oh. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Out. GG's. Uh, Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but mm -hmm. right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? Uh, uh. You two, go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Okay. Good to know that we to acid. If I can figure out how oh. that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. Alright, where was the weapon? Hmm. 
Wait, there are two here? Oh yeah, there's the one from earlier. Duh. Uh, where is it? Where is the weapon? Where is the weapon? Where is the weapon? And she knows. Where is the weapon? Excuse me. What is the gun? Oh, that one. Oh, this weapon. But like, it shot like, like a gun came off. Did I not want to look at that? No. Damn it. It's better than nothing. Okay. Excuse me. Get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. Whoa. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. Okay. We should uh. check on the clone too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Oh, for fuck's sake. The cash. Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all that ale. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, you mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why... One of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Oh my God. Anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. You said you met the- Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. Hmm. Okay. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your step. Okay. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Oh. Take what you need. Nice. Um, right. What do you want? <sighs> Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! <laughs> well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. <sighs> so Are much dialogue. I saw a guy I added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Yeah, it reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it it ended like a lot of Osram things do with what a spark, spark and, a boom. and a boom what are you working on with your focus i'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand but to be honest all the little symbols they give me a headache but i'll get up to speed I promise. Cool. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. Valid. I have to get going. Don't go cut. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna do this and then, and then we're, gonna, we're gonna stop. Because we're up to six hours now. It's getting pretty low. Hello. Hey, Lloyd. Glad you made it back okay. 
She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, mm -hmm. so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? Oh. How can they still be alive? What they don't the even know. Fuck? What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. <laughs> on the ship. What the fuck? I spent years studying in my training interface. Also that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Just, okay. Wow. Okay. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Psychopaths. Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. Oh. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? You told have a me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me. So I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. That's insane. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. 
He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Well, Verbena is Eric, dead. He's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. Verbena is dead. You mentioned that he has set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are we gonna go to space? Than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. Are we gonna go to space? Are we gonna go to space? That'd be fucking sick. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. Mm. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. Verbena's dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Mm -hmm. Initiative. Okay. <coughs> you said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. Okay. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrell purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge, just out of reach. Must have been frustrating. Mm. Okay. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so how long? You know, your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeus? <coughs> how did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? 
guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single to a single location. Of course not. Don't just shout at me. You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're going to find me. They're going to find this place and take me back. <sighs> this was all for nothing. They're not going to find <sighs> us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Why? It's just so dramatic. Okay. Well, let's see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I have mental health conditions, but, like, damn. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Healing might be mutual. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. Okay, well. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Oh, so we did pick up the weapon fragment. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm still confused, because like, there was a bit that came off the gun. Like, the Zenith gun. Not the... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Let's just do this, and then we can call it a night. Welcome Whee! Back. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. Comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Typical. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, I forgot silence was a thing for a moment. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along <sighs> with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Okay. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. Okay. Oh, there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Okay, so with that all said and done, Pam, look it's a little loud, Aaron. <laughs> I know it makes you want to punch something more like someone. Well, you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. <laughs> Right, okay, so I'm actually, I'm just going to go straight out to um, this. I'm going to hard save and I'm not even going to click on these quests because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do any more today because um, we've, we've hit over the six hour mark now. Is it this one? 
yeah um and we can we can just have a look at that when when we start tomorrow or actually no tomorrow i need to, i need to unpack tomorrow i need to unpack tomorrow um oh because i just really haven't done any unpacking Another rumor, really. I see you, champion. Sit. <laughs> Heard the lowlanders have been fighting rebels by the coast, west of the grove. If you're still helping the chief handle those scabs, you might want to talk to Kregella at Tide's Reach. <clears throat> Thanks. Out there. I'll see what I can do. Right. Cool. Alright. Cool. I've gone up three levels since that last manual save. That's that's three that's at least three levels in this stream alone. That's that's insane. So let's get ourselves on a nice little peak. And uh have a nice view. Yeah. All right. Let's pick a view. Let's go that way. Um, oh, it's starting to rain. So we have a bunch of coils that I haven't looked at because <laughs> I seem to just not be paying attention to this because I can't really upgrade them like I want to. Um, a bunch of stuff to sell. Um. Okay, and then we've got a bunch of quests. So currently we've got, okay, so we have the next main quest we can do. <coughs> a fuck ton of side quests and a fuck ton of errands. Three of those errands are a bit heavy for our level though, so we can we can leave some of those off. Um, but we could do we could do any of these errand these side quests rather. So next stream we could start off. I mean, like I don't know. I kind of I kind of like doing one main storyline quest per stream at the minute. But I don't want to go too deep into it too quickly because my, like, I'm enjoying finding things out. But I I also don't want to finish the game too fast. And I, I say that as if I haven't even touched this last section of the map yet. And this, given that there's two Tornex in this, I've got loads to do. But that said, next stream, I'm thinking we'll do just side quests next stream. Um, maybe do these ruins because we haven't done any of these ruins this qu this question mark is different to the other question marks so i'm not, and it's also a lot bigger i don't know what that means um but there are you know there's what one this one uh two three uh four five rebel camps we can do um I, yeah, I know I have a metric ton to do. There's loads. I mean, I still need to go back and like look at these because there's these fire gleam things I need to go back and do, like all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I might go back and do those fire gleams off stream. Just go get them because I know it's just going to be collectibles. <clears throat> but like, I haven't even. I'm not. I'm not even normally someone who would leave these question marks unlooked at, but I have. So. <clears throat> yeah we'll probably we'll probably stick to just side quests next stream um and then like we'll see how that goes because i feel like that's going to be easily six hours worth of six hours worth of quests um let alone whatever we get distracted with on the way and we'll just go from there um but yeah this has been great i really hope we go to space i want to go to space <laughs> that'd be sick <laughs> Um, I can't, I can't raid anybody, I don't think, because I'm on my phone. Um, but, uh, if we were to go see anybody who's online now, have I got any friends online? 
Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could do it, but I can't. I don't. Oh, I literally have no no method of raiding. Um, if we're going to go see anybody, though, like everybody, head over to to Earth Dweller Derek. He's just started his stream, by the looks of things. Um, because <clears throat> like I really don't know how to raid on my phone. Um. Uh, yeah, so I don't, and let me just see if I can Google it real quick. Via mobile. And nothing came up. Um, I guess I could try and do it through chat, but like, I don't know. It's not going to work. Anyway, um, I'll Google it another time. Everybody go and check out. I'm going to host him anyway. I don't know if this will work whilst I'm live. It might work. Um... But yeah, I'll put it in the chat when I leave. Their name's Earth Dweller Derek. They're going to be playing some Stardew. Uh, they're really chill. Um, actually, it looks like I, it looks like I have done it, like, but via a host, which is weird. But anyway, go check them out if you want to. They're really chill. Um, and yeah, I'll I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good evening, guys. Bye.